arbitration at its heart is a service industry. And that means that the arbitrators have a duty to ensure that the parties receive the process to which they agreed. That has at least three components. First, we should interpret the procedural rules, the scope of jurisdiction, and the substantive standards in line with the party's consent. Secondly, we owe the parties our full attention. We should be diligent in listening to witnesses, reviewing the evidence, and examining the applicable law. There's no substitute for that close attention. And finally, we owe the parties an efficient and a well-managed proceeding. The most brilliant arbitrator in the world will not be fulfilling a mandate if he or she is not available in a reasonable time period for hearings or for rendering an award. All of this goes back to the core notion of service. I think first of all is uh, to have a, a will to, to hard work. You need to have lots of time to dedicate uh, to the case. Most of the time, you will think that uh, you already have the same sort of situations in other cases. And uh, I think a good arbitrator is going to take each case is a very unique case. A good arbitrator must read the record, know the record, and understand the record. A good arbitrator must understand both the law, particular public international law, and be commercially sound. A good arbitrator must conduct the proceedings efficiently, which means that a good arbitrator must understand what it takes to prepare and argue a case. And finally, and most importantly, a good arbitrator must have a sound judgment. For me, a good arbitrator is someone who is able to think outside of his or her own cultural framework, someone who responds to the party's reasonable expectations, someone who is open-minded, listens to the parties, and makes them understand that their positions and arguments have been considered. A good arbitrator must be neutral and should do everything to ensure the integrity of the procedure so that at the end of the day, the parties will feel that they have had a fair process. I was counsel. I was looking for uh, arbitrators who were competent and uh, impartial, obviously. Increasingly, uh, arbitrators would be efficient. Uh, that is to say, they would have time for the case and would take the case seriously. And uh, I was also looking for a mix of experiences, not only academics, for people who had only academic experience or only uh, practical experience as counsel, but uh, ideally a mix of the two. So I have four answers to this question. The first is unquestionable judicial impartiality. The second is a broad perspective on the wider issues involved in investment cases, both the international law issues and the commercial issues. The third is real respect for the different perspectives of the parties and for one's fellow arbitrators. And the fourth is efficient management of the case and of the deliberative phase.